It's about a gay guy from England who's living in New York, who is basically living other people's lives. He's, in a way, raising his deceased brother's daughter. I'm the, the wife of his brother who died in a tragic accident, and he's kind of our surrogate dad. And I'm the gay uncle. He's the gay uncle. <laughs> and um, his green card runs out, and then he meets the perfect guy who happens to be from Spain, where marriage is legal uh, between gay couples on a federal level. Well, the plot really thickens there when the Defense of Marriage Act kind of comes into play. And sadly, this isn't just a fictional story. This is this really happens. It's been. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, my inspiration has been and will always be the 40,000 plus binational couples that we know of in America. There's thousands more that live outside of America because they don't have any rights to get a green card through marriage. So this this is affecting not only the couple but the people around them and and I do I wanted to write a story that would show how DOMA affects everybody, the, the whole community, the, the whole family, because DOMA is affecting families. It's ripping families apart. I don't understand. It's legal in New York. Immigration is a federal level right, Mono. As the law stands, with gay marriage only being on the state level, your marriage would mean nothing. So our relationship means nothing? Your relationship is not the problem here. The problem is you don't have the same rights as a straight couple. My stepsister and her wife got married in California during that brief period when it was legal. Um, her wife is Israeli, they have a son. My stepsister happens to be dual citizen of Israel and the U.S. Uh, and because they got married legally, didn't give her federal rights to immigration, and so they had to move back to Israel against their will. Um, they had to find careers there, took them a year and a half to find work, moved their son back, and they had a lives here. And now my family has been torn apart by this ridiculous law. Marriages that are recognized by the states and not the federal government, uh, like same-sex marriages, are deprived over a thousand rights that heterosexual couples uh, you know, are, are granted just because, and it's not fair.